Hello, this is Tara with Index Data, and these are some quick tips for navigating in Folio. All Folio apps have different functionality, but they also have a lot in common. For example, many apps use either a two or a three pane design. In general, whatever you need to complete in order to get started will appear in the leftmost pane. Often that's a search. In other cases, it might be scanning a patron barcode, like in the checkout app, or uploading a file of records, like in the data import app. You can resize panes for more comfortable navigation, and in many apps you can collapse the leftmost pane as well. Within a single pane, you may have more than one type of record that you can search. Button groups, like those visible in the Finance app or Courses app, may change the options available to you. Another common feature in Folio is the Actions menu button. Actions apply to the pane in which the button is located. So, for example, there are two action buttons visible on this screen in Inventory. One provides actions for the search results in Inventory, the other provides actions for the record. Within a single record, information is usually organized into accordions. An accordion is a section of a record, and it can be collapsed or expanded with the arrow to the left of the heading. You can often collapse or expand all accordions with the Collapse All and Expand All functionality at the top of a record. One last navigation feature you will encounter, toasts. In many apps, green success toasts in the lower right-hand corner of your screen will let you know that an action has succeeded. Red failure or error toasts will let you know that there was a problem. If you're more used to working in a desktop client, you might be surprised by the amount of clicking you do in Folio. Navigating between records and apps often involves several clicks. You can navigate between fields using the tab button, but in many cases, it's easier to just use your mouse. With all that clicking, you might be wondering if you can make things a little faster. You can with keyboard shortcuts. If the app has keyboard shortcuts available, you can view those shortcuts by clicking on the app's name in the upper left-hand corner. For the current list of all available shortcuts, see the documentation. Folio does not have its own built-in macros, but many libraries extend the shortcuts available using external programs such as Macro Express or Auto Hotkey. Moving around between Folio apps takes a little getting used to. In some cases, Folio remembers what you are working on even when you leave the app. For example, if we do a search in Inventory, then look at Orders, and then go back to Inventory, Folio remembers that search. If we log out and log back in again, it will disappear. We can always clear the search by clicking Reset All in the leftmost pane. For another example, if we're checking out an item to a patron, but need to check something on their record, we can click on their name, move to Users, and then return to Checkout to complete our transaction without losing our place. If we go back to the Users app after we complete our transaction, we'll still see that same user screen and we'll need to close it in order to continue our work in the Users app. This takes a little getting used to and the behavior isn't the same in every app, but in general, Folio is attempting to help you by showing you what you need when you need it. On the flip side, if you know you need to return to a specific record, you can get there directly just by saving the URL. Folio URLs can almost always be saved, and they can be shared with other staff users as well. For example, if you want to send another staff member an item record, you could send them the URL for that record, and they will be able to go straight to the item record rather than navigating to it themselves, assuming they have permission to see it. This is because of these long bits of text in the URL. These are actually the UUIDs for the instance, holdings, and item record. URLs can also be used to go straight to apps as well. For example, you can use a URL to go straight to bulk edit. You can also use a URL to go straight to bulk edit, select items, and select barcode as the identifier. Queries often work this way as well. You can share a specific search in inventory or set up your facets in receiving and go straight to your favorite filter. These are just a few quick tips to get you started navigating in Folio. Have fun!